magnetic cell phone holder for the car with the Sanyo 3810 flip phone. This phone's been used quite often with Boost, but I'm sure there's a lot of other companies that have used it as well. It's a great phone, it's got a nice mirror finish to it. The phone dock comes with two parts, the magnetic disc and the metal adapter. The first thing you want to do is turn the phone over, take the metal adapter, turn that over, Peel off the protective coating to the double-sided tape and place it on the back of the phone. You want to try and center it and just press it for a bit so it gets a good grip. Now you'll notice this phone has a crease right here, a line. That line is there because this part right here actually is a um, cover that comes off so that you can access the battery and your SIM card. You don't want to put this adapter over that crease. Um, in this case you don't even need to worry about it. It centers nicely. So then you take the uh, magnetic disc, turn that over, peel off the protective coating to the double sided tape there, and If, now, some people have concern with this um, adapter. Uh, some questions we've had in the past is, will this hurt my phone? Will it damage my phone? I'm going to prove to you how easily this is removed and it doesn't leave any marks or scratches on, on the phone. Take a uh, spatula or a scraper. This is a plastic spatula. You can use a... Um, pancake spatula, something that doesn't scratch the phone and just scrape off the adapter between the phone and the adapter. Something to use as a wedging tool. Comes right off. Now sometimes there's some residual adhesive, just roll it off with your fingers. And there you go. Completely removed. Didn't hurt a thing. So to emphasize how easy it is to reapply We'll go ahead and get another adapter and put another one on again. Okay. We'll center this, hold it for a few moments so it gets a good grip. Then, take the disc it over, peel off the protective coating to the disc, and apply it to your dash. This box will simulate the dash to your car. You only need an inch and a half uh, diameter space to apply the dot, and it'll come off much the same way that the adapter did. It won't hurt the surface at all. It's removable. The instructions are on the package, or just go to the uh, website, thephonedot.com, for more information if you need more assistance with that. So now that your phone has the adapter placed on it, just simply hover the phone over the phone dot and it'll actually just pull it from your fingers. It's a really strong att attraction. If you hear that metal metallic uh, click, that's the rather strong uh, magnetic attraction between the metal adapter and the magnetic disc. And you can use the phone open or closed. A nice feature is you can actually turn the phone to uh, uh, landscape from portrait if you want or back again or anywhere in between whichever way you would like to have it. If you're uh, driving with hands-free you can use your Bluetooth, your speakerphone uh, if you want or if you still have the old plug-in earpiece that will work as well. Uh, if you've got voice recognition, that's even better. You can just tell your phone what you want it to do. Or sometimes on the uh, earpiece for the Bluetooth, there might be a button to push for hanging up the phone or answering the phone or some other functions as well, such as voice command. Uh, so this is rather nice when you're driving in the car and you don't really want to take your eye off the road. 
you can just put this anywhere near, especially at night, anywhere near the phone dial will take it from you. So this is a great device to use to comply with the hands-free laws of your state. Most people know that you can get a ticket for driving with your phone up to the ear. Uh, this allows you to comply with the law and use your uh, speaker phone to go hands-free or your Bluetooth device. Now, um, there's going to be a time maybe where you want to use a case, uh, perhaps a leather case. Uh, here's a leather case here that has a uh, snap on it and on the back of it is a clip that has some metal composite in it that will clip to a belt. You can just place your phone inside and snap it. Now there's enough metal composite in this leather case so that you really don't need the adapter. This part right here, uh, unless, I mean if you're using with the case, if you're using without the case you'll need it, but if you don't want to take it out of the case then you can simply just put it on the phone dot and it'll hold it just like that. It's strong enough to hold the case and the phone is a uh, nice feature. There are other types of cases. This one here is an aftermarket. It's also got a uh, clip, metal clip, and you can just uh, put your phone in it and it'll hold that as well. So, um, and then there'll be other times maybe where you want to use a, um, a silicone Jelly Belly style uh, cover or a hard shell. If you have a hard shell, just put the adapter on the back of the hard shell and use it or uh, you can place it in between the phone and the hard shell. If there's not enough space, if this is too thick for that, just peel off this uh, adhesive and it'll be thinner. Uh, take a piece of tape and just to hold this in place and then put the hard shell over it. This is magnet is strong enough, the phone dot is strong enough to work through the plastic. But if you want to use um, something like a soft shell, just put the adapter on first, then place the cover over the phone. Like that. And as you can see, you can't even tell there's an adapter on there is quite nice and you can continue to use your phone with the uh, cover open or closed if you like and uh, of course if you don't want to use it you can just take it off and place it back again so there you go uh, the phone dot magnetic cell phone holder for the car used with the Sanyo 3810 flip phone